I've got the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus here and today I'm going to show you how to enable one-handed mode on all three devices in the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. So the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Galaxy S10e are the first Samsung devices to launch with a new design style called One UI. And while the One UI design language includes a lot of changes for Samsung's version of Android, one of the biggest focuses of this change is the ability to use the phone with one hand. So you can see a lot of the native Samsung applications have switched to this One UI style. And just an example, we're just going to open up the settings application. Now, normally when you open up a settings app on any other device, you're going to see the settings options fill up the entire screen. Now, as devices are getting bigger and they're switching to this newer aspect ratio, it's becoming increasingly dif more difficult to reach the top of the screen whenever you're holding the, the device in one hand. And that's why Samsung has pushed a lot of the options and a lot of the actions that we do within an application down to almost the bottom half of the screen with this One UI design language. Again, we see this in a lot of Samsung's native applications. And overall, this, and it's similar to apps adapting to the bottom tab bar. It's just a better user experience for the people who have these devices and want to use them with, with one hand. Now, as I mentioned, the only applications that are using this new design language are Samsung's native applications. So like the phone and the messenger settings, stuff like that. This means that the majority of the applications that you are likely to use, meaning like anything from the Google Play Store, is not going to be pushing all of the actionable content down to the bottom half of the screen. So, for years, Samsung has been aware of this issue and they've had a feature called one-handed mode. So today I'm going to show you how to enable this feature and we do that by first opening up the settings application. From here we're going to scroll down a little bit until we get to the advanced features option and we're going to tap on that. And then toward the bottom of the screen here you're going to see an option called motions and gestures. So we're just going to go ahead and tap on that. We get a lot of gestures that Samsung has baked into their version of Android right here. But if we look in the second section here, the top option is called one-handed mode. It is off by default. And you can either toggle it on by tapping on that toggle right here, or we can tap the option to go into this specific feature. This brings the toggle up to the top. And as you can see here down at the, bo the bottom, we have two different ways to activate this. Now, let's go ahead and turn this on. So since I have removed the software navigation buttons and replaced it with the gestures right here, it's going to be set to the gesture option by default meaning that whenever we enable one-handed mode we are only able to activate one-handed mode by using the gesture. Now if we keep the software navigation bar down here at the bottom then this grayed out button option will be available. So if you keep that then you will also have the ability to select the button option which will let you activate one-handed mode by tapping on the home button three times. 
You also have the ability to use the gesture action whenever you have the navigation bar enabled. Samsung has just given us two different ways to enable one-handed mode on the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Galaxy S10e. And just to show you how this feature works, once we have enabled it, and we have selected our action to enable the feature. I'm just going to go back to the home screen. And again, since I have it set to the gesture option, we just have to do a gesture from one of the bottom corners of the device. You can see it instantly shrinks the screen. We are able to change the position of the screen by tapping that button and we can also go back into the settings of one-handed mode by tapping on the gear icon now we're still able to access our software navigation buttons whether it's the actual software navigation bar or the gestures we can still use our phone as normal. Samsung has just shrunk the screen in so that it is easier to access the entire contents of the screen whenever we are holding it with one hand. And as you can see at the top here, we can exit one-handed mode by simply just tapping on an area that is outside of this shrunken display. And that's it. Very easy to activate. It's not enabled by default, so you have to go in and enable the feature manually. And you get to choose which activation method you want whenever you activate it. Again, if you have the software navigation bar, you can simply tap the home button three times and it will shrink down. Or you can use a gesture and swipe in from either the bottom left or the bottom right corner of the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, or the Galaxy S10e.